Okay, what I'm recording here is I'm hopefully going to be able to demonstrate what's happened the last couple days. But this Apple Watch um, actually put a burn on my wrist. You can't see it here too well, but I did take some pictures of it. Um, but basically, it got super hot to the point that I couldn't get it off my wrist fast enough. I turned it off, and a couple hours later when I turned it back on, it did the same thing. And then a couple hours later, I turned it on by mistake, and it did it again. So I ordered a infrared um, heating heat uh, thermometer, and I'm hoping it'll do it again because clearly there's something wrong. So right now, I take the temperature, and you can see it's let's move it out here a little bit more. So it's saying it's about 83 degrees. 82 degrees. It's off, but I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so I got the little Apple logo. Oops, right here. And it's the back that gets hot, so I'm going to put it face down and just put it right on here. And let's see if it's actually going to go up this time. And before when it was doing it, it did not take very long at all. In fact, before the Apple logo finished uh, coming up, it was already, um, I'm sorry, before the watch face came up, it was already hot enough that it was um, hard to feel. Hard, it was too hot to the touch. So it looks like it's going up right now pretty quick. You feel it. Oh yeah, it's definitely hot. So we still have the Apple logo. Put it here. And let's see, it's right now it's at it's at 90. Now it's going up pretty quick all of a sudden. And when this originally happened when it was on my wrist, I thought at first that maybe I was just sweating and it was getting uncomfortable. The band was just kind of bothering my skin. So I kind of loosened up the band a little bit. And then it was only a few minutes later I realized there was something not quite right. So let's see where it's at now. Still, uh, still booting. And right now it's a little hot to the touch. Uh, I don't think I could hold it very long. Okay, so right there, same thing. Okay, so we're at 100 degrees. Now, I haven't used this before, so I have no idea what the normal temperature is, but I'm pretty sure um, hot enough to burn your wrist is not the normal temperature. And if I look at, so it looks like it's booted. And let me do my little password here. And if I look at the battery, it's still at 37%. It's not really giving me any kind of warnings or anything. Um, but it's really hot. So let's put this down here again. And right there is in the center. So it does look like it's still going up. Now at this point before, I just turned it off. Um, but in this case, I'm going to let it go a little bit longer because I'm just curious at what point does it stop getting hotter. So it looks like, whoo, it's pretty hot. Okay, I'm going to assume this has shut itself off because I don't want to press one of the buttons and turn it back on again. It is still pretty hot though, but I, I have to assume it's going to start cooling down. It got up to about 119, and now it looks like it's cooling down, so I'm going to assume that it's off.